guys, so today's video was going to be my April favorites. April favorites, I just said that weird. All of the products that I've been using and loving and stuff over the last month in April. So I'm just going to get into it. So the first thing I want to start with, I want to start with this even though it's not technically beauty. Um, because I want to go put it back in my fridge because it's a drink and I've been obsessed with this If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you know how obsessed with coffee I am I'm loving the silk ice latte the main reason I love it Well, first of all, it's a nice latte drink. It's only 100 calories free gluten-free lactose free Which is really important to me because I try not to have any dairy at all and my boyfriend is lactose intolerant So I love this I've been just pouring it on a drink instead of my morning coffee. What my boyfriend used to always do is put ice cubes in his coffee, which would totally water it down. So now we've just switched to using this and pouring it over ice. You don't have to put creamer in it. You don't have to put anything in it. It's kind of like on the thicker side. It is so, so, so good. And you just pour it and drink. It's amazing. So this has totally been a favorite of mine. This is my second carton. <laughs> I'm addicted, um, but I love that it's only 100 calories and dairy-free, and it comes in mocha too. I haven't tried the mocha. I've been addicted to the vanilla. Actually, I started following them on Twitter and Facebook, which I know is so funny, but usually when you follow like food brands and things like that, they'll tweet or Facebook coupons and that kind of thing, so that's kind of why I've been following them, so I will put those links down below if you're a crazy coffee lady like me. Um, yeah, definitely check this out. Super, super good and delicious and totally totally a favorite of mine and now I'm gonna go put this back in the fridge so on to makeup my favorite makeup product of the month that I kind of rediscovered is my Revlon nearly naked foundation I love this I tend to not reach for it as much as my Tarte foundation solely because it's liquid and that's more high maintenance I have to use a brush and I know most people use brushes with foundation anyway but I actually use my hands most of the time with my Tarte foundations it's just easier for me um, but I just been using this because I was wanting a change and I like how light this feels on my skin and it's just really really good foundation if you're looking for a um, affordable foundation this is definitely my favorite drugstore foundation it's very light breathable great for spring and summer I'm in the shade 130 shell which is actually a little bit too light for me now just because I've been using a lot of sunless tanner but I've just been putting bronzer and stuff over my face and it it's fine um, but I love this foundation Seriously, a huge favorite of mine. Favorite drugstore foundation. Speaking of tanner, my mitt is really nasty and dirty, um, but I have been using this tanner for over a month now, and I love it. So over the last two months probably, but I didn't talk about it in my last month's favorite. But it's the Tarte Brazilian Skin Rejuvenating Maracuja Face and Body Self Tanner. I really, really like this. It lasts about a week and a half until I notice I'm getting like really pale again, which is great. It smells good when you first put it on, but... Like all self-tanners I've ever used, high-end, low-end, you get a self-tanner scent. So it does have that self-tanner scent, but it's like the least offensive, one of the least offensive out of all the self-tanners that I've used. So it works really great. I like that it comes with that mitt. I had never used a mitt before to apply self-tanner, so I think it works really well. But I'm kind of concerned that it might absorb a little bit of the product. Um, I don't know, but it works nice. And I do my entire body from head to toe, my face and everything. About every week and a half I've been doing that and there's still a good product a good amount of product in the bottle left which is good because I'm 5'10 I'm really tall so I feel like I go through self tanner very quickly um, but this is the one that I'm currently using and that I like a lot okay nail polish favorites if you follow me on Instagram you've kind of already seen me wearing this manicure I'm currently wearing my extra large leopard print nails just because I love them so much I have a tutorial for these nails I'll link it down below. But the combination that I've really been loving and the color that I've really been loving is Yellow Polka Dot Bikini by China Glaze. It's like a highlighter yellow, the brightest highlighter yellow polish I've ever used. I love it so much and it looks amazing with an accent blue glitter nail, which I know is a little weird, but it just looks so good with a blue glitter. I love this one. Today was a fairy tale by Deborah Lipman and this one by OPI, which was limited edition. It's called Gone Gonzo. It was from, I'm like, out of breath. It was from the Muppets collection, so I really like this highlighter yellow with a blue glitter. I just think it looks really amazing together. I will link my Instagram down below if you want to see the manicure that I was wearing when I had this on my nails. These are my new Ray-Ban sunglasses I got about a month ago, and they are the mirrored um, green ones, but they have like a little bit of a blue tint to them as well. I love these. They come in a blue shade too and an orangey red shade, but I like the green ones because the green kind of has a little bit of a blue anyway, and I love Ray-Bans. It's like the only sunglasses I'll ever buy. The main reason I wanted to mention those in this video is because you guys were all asking me like what was the style number and everything or what 
I don't know, just, you know, the, the number to find those. I bought them on shopbop.com, but I will put the style number and everything down below in the description box for those of you who are asking. And that's pretty much it. I didn't have that many new products that I was using or anything like that. Just a couple of favorites over the month. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. All the products that I mentioned, I will have listed down below. And I hope that you had a great month of April. And I love you guys. Thank you for watching and subscribing. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.